This video contains 100% true facts about every human being who's ever ridden a Jixer. If your ego is too fragile to handle a YouTube video holding up a mirror to your lifestyle, maybe you should buy a scooter. Don't come crying to me when your tender fifis get hurt like a wheel baby. Viewer discretion is advised. Nature's majesty is truly a wonder to behold. Herds of wildebeest migrating across the Serengeti. The mighty blue whale breaching the surface of the ocean to feast on the smallest of ocean bugs. Even the humble house cat or dog stands as an ever-present symbol of the vast forms of life on this planet. But today we're not looking at the majestic, not even the pedestrian. No, sometimes in the name of scientific advancement, we must study nature's mistakes. And I'm not talking about the platypus. That poisonous duck rat is an enigma best left for another time. Instead, we're looking at the Jixer squid. We sent our camera crew deep undercover into a world that is hidden right in plain sight. It was a dangerous task, as the scientific community has yet to arrive at a consensus on the transmissibility of Jixerdom. Their sacrifice has brought you this masterpiece. We also need to remind everyone that to further the research of Jixer squiddom, we're giving away a Jixer 1000, and you have until tonight at midnight to get entered to win. Click the link down below and use the code SQUID to get maximum entries to win for the month on any purchase made on shop.yaminoop.co. Time is running out. Now, without further ado, please enjoy a day in the life of a Jixer squid. All right, man, you ready for this? I think so. I think so. Right. You got the mace, right? Just um, want to make sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, let's get in there. Be careful, though. Don't know what we're going into. Seriously, you think we're going to be all right? We'll be all right? We, sh we should. It should be fine. I mean, worst case scenario, it's just going to smell like body spray a little bit. So... Maybe uh, just don't breathe too deep. Alright, all right, I guess. Alright, you ready for it? Ready? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Trevor, you awake, dude? Uh, Terry, I told you to have the rent money in three days! I'm not, I'm not, t I'm not Terry, we're the, we're the interview crew. Interview? Yeah. The what time is it? Dude, it's like, it's 12.46 oh. in the afternoon. Oh, man. What's, uh, what, what you got right there, man? Oh, dude, what's don't, that? don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. What interview? What y'all talking about? You, don't you remember you agreed to this a little while back? We were gonna, we we're gonna interview about you, you know, day in the life of the Jixer? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. We'll get, we'll, we'll give you a minute to get your pants I'm on. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a little drunk right now, but let's do this. All right, y'all hold up. I gotta get ready. Shit. All right. <laughs> we did. Hello? Can y'all hear me? Hello? You don't need to touch the mic, man. It's all set. Everything's good. Oh, okay. Word. Word. It's all good. So what, what? What is this again? What y'all? I thought my parole hearing was over. No, what this, is this? This is, a, this is a documentary. We're we're interviewing you for about the, you know a day in the life. You asking me a bunch of bitch ass questions? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. We're we're, we're gonna put this up on YouTube. It's kind of like what you might see on you know the Discovery Channel or. It's a nerd movie. I got it. Yeah, for sure. Wh whatever. We're All right. Doing, yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm I'm getting paid right for this for this time. No, no, you're not. Getting what? Paid. You volunteered, dude. God, man, I'm out of here, dog. Tell us about your motorcycle. Well, right here, dog, we got K5 Jix or Thou, bro. Best bike ever made. Let me tell you about this. Ain't nobody run up on me on these streets before where I can't beat them on this Jix or Thou. I come up on the streets on the Jix or Thou, nobody touched me. The first thing you at home need to understand about a Jixer squid is that they're stuck in the year 2005. Now when I say stuck, you might think that I mean the Jixer squid lives in a constant state of longing for the simpler days of leader bikes, but no, they literally still think it's 2005. Putting down 178 at the wheel, dog. Dino tuned, okay? Power Commander 5, Dino Jet 5.2, fuel map. My buddy Terry got the fuel map on there for me. This is 2005's best motorcycle. This is bike of the year right here from 2005. Wait, wait, wait hold up, dude. What, what year do you think it is? 2005? Dude, it's 2022. You mean I can't get a bike with no income, no job, no asset? No. I gotta make some calls. With the some may say timeless quality of the Jixer Squid comes a certain lack of taste. They wear the logos of their chosen brand on as many articles of clothing as possible just so there's no way that you can mistake them for anything other than the most ardent of superfans. It takes the Jixer bro more than a moment to make sure that his hat is delightfully askew and his t-shirt pulled as tight as possible so there's no confusion as to whether or not he lifts. Alright, 
right, so uh, I gotta ask, do you, do you even lift, bro? No, of course I lift. Um, can't, can't really tell. What do you mean you can't tell? I drank so much pre-workout this morning. I lift a lot, bro. I go to the gym five times a week, bro. Or maybe, are you working with the ladies' weights? No, dog. I lift my jigs. I put my jigs on the rear stand all the time. I be putting that bike up all the time. I be lifting weights, dog. I be pushing the weights. Wait, whatever you say. Much like their genetic cousin, Homo sapien, Homo jixirius requires upwards of 2,000 calories per day to survive. They get the majority of their calories from energy drinks with protein powder and pre-workout mixed in. The rest comes from breakfast cereal and fast food since they tend to spend most of their money on Jixer branded carbon fiber parts and speeding tickets. So what's your favorite food? Psh, easy, Fruity Pebbles. Like, wait, why? Taste the rainbow, bitch. That's definitely Skittles. No, it ain't. Yeah, that's. I saw a Skittles commercial yesterday. That's Skittles. Nah, dog, you wrong. You wrong. As Probably right a Honda or something. After a less than nutritionally balanced breakfast, the Jixer squid must commute to the office. They don their ballistic resistant t-shirt, shorts, and backwards baseball cap, and take a leisurely pace to the tattoo parlor, Jiffy Lube, or McDonald's. Man, so describe your nine to five. Describe what you do for a living. Yeah, so uh, I'm a I'm a burger patty liaison engineer over at over at Burger Shack. Or can you describe that for me? Yeah, for sure. So uh, it's a very complicated position, right? So what I do, my my integral role to the company at Burger Shack is I take the patties that have been completed upon service of receipt of the order, and I transition them through a series of engineering to the customer out, outside, the, outside the door. So wait, you, you give the guy the burger, you don't even flip the patties? No, nah, no, nah, I can't flip the patties no more, mm -mm, no. Why? Uh, n n after the fire, Jeremy told me I, I, couldn't, I couldn't flip the patties no more, so. Terry did give me that job though, so it's, it's pretty good money. It's pretty good money, dog. Start a fire flipping burgers. My lawyer, who is also my divorce lawyer, legally told me that I cannot describe that situation to you. So, yeah, I will respectfully decline. All right, man. So it says here that you were married at one point. How'd that go? Yeah, so I was married at one point. Uh, I was married to a beautiful young lady, Stardust Crystal Johnson. Uh, she, I, we did, we did meet at the club, but we, uh, we have sent. Uh, stripper name? Yeah. So what? Married a stripper? Yeah, you, you can hold stripper. Little bitch. Whatever you say, please continue. Yeah, so we, you know, we had our six kids, and then, uh, you know, we. Unfortunately, things just didn't work out. She didn't really get the Suzuki life, and you know that that's it. That's all that happened. Me and her, yeah, you know. Sounds sound like it wasn't all that happened. It's like did she leave you for somebody. Look, man, I don't like talking about it, but yeah, she she did leave me for a ZX10 rider, and that's something I can never forgive her for. And we are we are currently in divorce proceedings because of that. Following a shift at the local burger emporium, the Jixer bro needs to run errands. While it may come as a surprise, the often impulsive Jixer squid isn't technically literate enough to shop online. Again, they're perpetually stuck in the year 2005 and must physically go to a store for even the most basic of essentials. In this way, a population of Jixer riders can be a boon for local brick and mortar retail. Unfortunately, our Jixer squid has sold his car to purchase yet another Jixer 1000 and must figure out how to pack his groceries on the back of a Super Sport motorcycle designed for use at a racetrack. So how many Jixers have you owned so far? All right, bro, so me and Jixers, storied history. So I started on a 600, cause I ain't no bitch. I want, I want everybody to know I ain't no bitch. I started on a 600. And uh, that bike was broken, cause it could only do 150 miles per hour on the Speedo. I couldn't, I, I paid for the Speedo, I couldn't use all the Speedo, right? It's up. So. 600 only does, it doesn't go to 186, dude. You know that's meth, right? Anyways, I got a Jixa Thou because I wanted a 200, okay? Got the Jixa Thou, went on with it. Uh, I did crash that bike doing a wheelie, but uh, now I can wheelie really good. By the way, just want everybody to know, I can wheelie, su I, I can wheelie super good. Uh, but then I got my third Jixa Thou, another one, 
and uh, that bike was unfortunately uh, police uh, impounded because of some, some, some things. My divorce lawyer, as I mentioned before, I cannot speak about at this current moment in time. Uh, however, I did get then this Jixxer Dow because it was cheaper for me to get this Jixxer instead of getting uh, the other Jixxer and my speeding tickets paid off. So I got, I got this Jixxer here for sure. Oh, uh, shut up. Four Jixxers. Yeah. What'd you, problem? What'd you say? Yeah. Like, I, you know, sentence people. No, I'm going to f*** you. You got a problem. Little bitch. Sure. You all good? I say what? <laughs> this daily cycle repeats itself until the Jixer bro gets bored, so usually about a week, at which point they stop showing up at work, get fired, and live off unemployment benefits. While they wait for the social safety net to collapse, the Jixer squid treats themselves to a well earned vacation, exploring some twisty roads and modifying their motorcycle. Alright, so describe like a nice weekend ride for you. Weekend rides? Shit, me and my boys, we go out, dog. We hit the streets. You know what I'm saying? No, what, what do you mean? Highway pulls. That's what, that's what we do. That's it? We get on I 80, just blast it, dog. Yeah. Like, no fourth gear, just wah, fourth gear, wah, bang it out. Fifth gear, wah, just a sixth gear, wah. Just like that. That's a weekend ride. Until you, until you get out of gas and you gotta pop off, then you chat with the boys. And then you uh you get back on the highway like wah you just fucking wah you just fucking wah you fucking you know what I'm saying? I, I think I got it, but you don't do any like twisties or track days or anything like that. Nah, it takes way more bravery and skill to stay pinned in sixth gear on I-80. Have you been on I-80? Yeah. You take in sixth gear pinned. So do you mod your motorcycle at all? Hell yeah, I'm on my bike, dog. I ride a Jixxer, what do you think I do? I don't mod my bike? Okay, so Clown you, bro. What you got? All right, so carbon wheels first and foremost. These bad boys were a pretty penny, so I, I did have to dip into my child support payments to pay these off. Um, my, my baby mama didn't think that was cool, but I, I had to do what I had to do for the Jixxer wife, okay? And then I maxed out my six credit card on my exhaust, but my exhaust was a little too heavy, right? You know how that goes, right? You a Honda rider, you know all about being heavy. And my exhaust was a little too heavy, so I had to get a seventh credit card but they only gave me a $30 limit. Can you believe that $30 limit. I can't imagine why. I know, it's crazy. But anyways, with that credit card, picked up off Facebook, lightweight Kenmoto pipe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm actually uh, sponsored by Kenmoto, and I, I got the pipe on the bike, and it's, it's fast as hell now, dog. Wait, so you're sponsored by him, but you had to buy the pipe? I don't, I don't know how it works. I just ride. Who, who even, I've never heard of Kenmoto before. I haven't either. We've discovered much about the humble Jixer bro. We've spent time immersing ourselves in their culture, and while it might seem that they live their lives very publicly, some might argue too publicly, there's one aspect hidden deep within the psyche of every Jixer bro. It's a deep self-loathing and perceived inadequacy relative to the true alpha biker bro. The reason why the Jixer bros seem to live their entire life dialed up to 11 is because that they know, no matter what they do, they're never going to be as fast or as cool as the Turbo Hayabusa rider. Their poles will never be as fat, their stretches will never be long enough, and their airbrushed paint schemes will never announce to the world around them that they haven't felt the touch of a woman in decades. Last question for today, and then we're all done. All right, all right, because I gotta get going, dog. I can't be here all day. This one's a tough one, though. You ready? Yeah. What do you think about the turbo high boost? <laughs> turbo, tur turbo high boosts? Yeah. What do you boys think about? <laughs> yeah, they're, um, um, yeah, they're, um. Are you, are you all right, man? Do you, do you, are you crying? No, I'm I'm crying, dog. You want some tissue, man? I got, I got these right here. Look, it has to be about the turbine boost, man. I only see a turbine boost one time before. You know when that was? When it was in front of you? It was in front of me, yeah. It was in front of me. I've never seen the taillights so big. I couldn't beat him. I couldn't beat him. It's
Keep watching Amy Noob!